Hello Riverside families and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. We are very excited to reopen our school. We have missed seeing our students and can't wait to see them again. Our first day of school will be on Tuesday, September 1st. We encourage you to visit our school website at www.dce.k12.wi.us backslash Riverside Elementary for helpful information such as our parent handbook, monthly newsletters, building calendar, Riverside events, and more. Parents can also stay connected through our Facebook page as well as our PTO's Facebook page. Hello Riverside parents and students. I am Mr. Cantman and I will be the principal here at Riverside. We are so excited to have you guys back here in our building this year. Uh, and looking forward to another great year at Riverside. Welcome everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Kraut Kramer. I'm the secretary here at Riverside Elementary. I wanna welcome everyone and let you know if you need help, please step in at the office. Look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome Blue Jay Boosters, I'm Mrs. Plata. If you need to come to the office, you'll see me there. I'm so excited to see you back in school this year. This is what I look like with my mask on. This is what I look like with my mask off. I can't wait to see you in your mask. Bye. Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Matthew. I'm the health aide this year here at Riverside. We are so excited for you all to come back to school and look forward to seeing you soon. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Mrs. Reimer. I'm the third grade GT teacher here at Riverside Elementary. I've been team teaching with Mrs. Schwan, GT second and third grade for the last few years, and I'm super excited about this year. I hope that you all had an amazing summer, but are ready to come back to school and hang out with all of us here at Riverside. We are super excited to share this year with all of you. Welcome to third grade. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jacobs. Hi, I'm Mrs. Fritchie. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gogger. And, and we're, we're your third grade, grade teachers. teachers. This will be my fifth year teaching third grade, but I'm going on my seventh year at Riverside. This will be my ninth year teaching third grade at Riverside. This will be my 13th year teaching third grade at Riverside. We are so excited for the year ahead of us. And we can't wait for all of the learning that we're going to do together. In third grade, we will explore so many new things. Third grade offers everything from reading and writing fairy tales to learning multiplication and division, to exploring different ecosystems, and traveling back in time to explore America through the West. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for a great third grade year. We are looking forward to meeting you. This year at Riverside, we will be using two separate health rooms. Health room A will be used for students who do not feel ill. This room will be located in our main office as it has in the past. This room will be used for medication administration, diabetic care, asthma inhalers, as well as any injuries that may come from our playground or bloody noses. Health room B will be used for any student who is feeling ill or who is exhibiting symptoms that are not known for their baseline health condition. This room will be located in another area in our building. Separate staff have been hired to provide care in each one of these rooms. All Riverside students will continue to have Encore classes this year, but we have structured them a little differently than in years past. We have divided our school year into three separate rotations. Students will have either art, music, or library and computer skills for 30 minutes every day for 12 weeks. Teachers will come to the student's classroom for their daily class, and after 12 weeks, a different Encore class will be offered. In addition, all students will have Phi Ed three times a week, and these classes will be held outdoors whenever possible. Students will also have a 30-minute lesson from our school counselor every other week as they had in the past. These lessons will be developed by our school counselor and shared virtually. 
School breakfast and lunch are available at Riverside Elementary, and information can be found on our district website. Each morning, students will have the option to sign up for a grab-and-go breakfast. Breakfast will be delivered to classrooms, and students will eat in their classrooms before core instruction begins. Students will have the option of selecting hot lunch from school, or they are welcome to bring a cold lunch from home. This year, we have staggered our lunch times and lengthened them, and students will eat in the gymnasium with grade level cohorts. We have marked seating for physical distancing, and our lunchroom will be sanitized between each lunch period. All district served food items will be individually wrapped or portioned. All shared use condiment pumps and squeeze bottles will transition to individual packets or squeeze bottles distributed by one of our lunchroom associates. Students will also use a touchless checkout system. Breakfast and lunch menus can be accessed on our website and through the NutriSlice interactive app. For the 2020-21 school year, breakfast will cost $1.35, Lunch will be $1.85, and those who qualify for reduced lunch, $0.40, cents, and snack milk will also be $0.40. Cents. Students who do qualify for free or reduced lunch can select breakfast or snack milk at no additional cost. Applications for free and reduced lunch were sent home in a summer mailing. Forms can also be accessed on our website or contact our office and a paper form will be sent home with your child. Parents can add money to students' lunch accounts through the My School Bucks online portal or app. Parents can also make cash or check deposits by sending them with their child in a sealed envelope with the student's name, teacher's name, and grade level labeled on the outside. Students can give this envelope to their classroom teacher and funds will be added to your account at the end of the day. Students are encouraged to bring a healthy snack to school each day. Due to district policy, we ask that no nut products be brought to school and they will not be allowed in the classroom, however, will be allowed in the lunchroom. We also ask that for this year, no shared birthday treats are brought to school. Our district uses Lamers Bus Lines as our transportation provider. Bus route information as well as pickup and drop off times will be mailed to parents this week. At the current time, cloth face coverings are required for students and drivers while on the bus. Hand sanitizer stations will be provided on each bus, and students will be encouraged to use stations when entering and leaving the bus. Eating, drinking, or chewing gum will not be allowed this year. Students will be provided with an assigned seat to allow for physical distancing. Family members will sit together to reduce contact with others. The circulation of outdoor air will be increased as much as possible by opening bus windows if weather permits. Drivers will disinfect commonly touched services after each run. Our buses will be disinfected at the end of each morning and afternoon route. The Versatrans My Stop app is available on our district website to receive notification from lamers about possible bus delays. The app also allows parents to see your child's bus traveling on its route with estimated pickup and drop off times. Since we are not allowing visitors in the building this year, our drop-off and pickup procedures will look different as well. This year, parents are being asked to remain in their vehicles while students exit the passenger side of the vehicle and proceed across the crosswalks. Families with a last name that begins A through L will drop off and pick up in the gravel lane at the top of our parking lot. Families with the last name M through Z will drop off and pick up in the lane next to our sidewalk median. All families are encouraged to take first day of school pictures at home prior to leaving for school. If you are arriving after the start of the day, simply call the school office upon your arrival and a staff person will come out to assist. Each of our grade level bands will have a designated entrance and exit to the building this year. All kindergarten and first grade students will enter and exit the building through the orange area highlighted on the map below. All second and third grade students will enter and exit the building through the doors at the end of the wing highlighted in green on the map below. And all of our fourth and fifth grade students will enter and exit the building through our main lobby doors highlighted in blue. This year we have contracted with CurbSmart 
a company that specializes in student pickup systems. Each parent will be assigned a pickup number. When parents enter our pickup area, staff will notify classroom teachers to release the student associated with their number. If you are picking up prior to the end of the day, simply call the school office upon your arrival and a staff person will escort your child out of the building. In order to limit the number of students in the designated parent drop-off and pickup locations, we will be offering an extended time for parent drop-off and pickup as well. In the morning, parents may drop off students at their designated area anytime between 8.20 and 8.50 a.m. In the afternoon, parents may pick up students anytime in their designated area between the times of 3.20 and 3.50 p.m. This year, we have taken additional precautions to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in our schools and community. These protocols have been developed based on guidance from the Centers for Disease Control the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, and the Marathon County Health Department, and will be adjusted as needed throughout the school year. All DCE families will be asked to screen their child for COVID-19 symptoms prior to the start of each school day and ensure their child remains home if they exhibit any of the following symptoms. By keeping symptomatic students at home, you can help reduce the chance that an infection will spread to other students and staff and decrease the likelihood that a classroom will have to quarantine or a school will have to temporarily shut down. All Riverside staff will self-monitor on a daily basis and remain home if they exhibit any of these symptoms. Students and staff will be regularly reminded about the importance of proper hand washing and using hand sanitizer. Hygiene signage will be posted throughout our building. Students will wash hands whenever entering their classroom, before and after each recess, before and after snack and lunch, and before and after all trips to the restroom. No touch hand sanitizer units will be available throughout our buildings and on our buses. All district students, staff, and bus drivers are required to wear face coverings while in school and or on the bus. Face coverings will be available for students who forget theirs, and outdoor spaces will be utilized to allow students to take mask breaks throughout the day. If a health care provider has indicated that your child should not wear a face mask, please contact Mr. Cantman for more information. Students are encouraged to bring in their own water bottle from home and they will be provided time throughout the day to fill them. Students will be reminded not to share water bottles with others. This year, due to COVID-19, we are asking that all toys, balls, and other play items are left at home and not brought to school. We look forward to seeing everyone on our first day of school and are excited about a brand new school year. As always, please feel free to contact our office or your child's teacher if you have any additional questions. Thank you.